Hello guys, Welder Art here. In today's video, I want to show you how I prepare figures for the further work and due to the fact that uh, plastic figures are very popular among modelers, we will use it like an example. And the uh, king of today's episode, it will be a uh, dragon figures. I choose these figures because uh, the quality is not that bad yet. I think for this task uh, of course we will need uh, side cutters good side cutters I used uh, this one from Tamiya the sharp scalpel some sanding sponge sanding sticks and some glue I carefully cut out the parts from the frames so as to leave as a few traces as possible after the mold gaps. It will save me a lot of time in my further work. Be careful not to accidentally cut off a piece of part. Now let's take a closer look to the parts uh, in a search for some imperfections. We will have to remove them so that our figure does not have that nasty seams. Blah. A scalpel for this task will be a perfect and we will use it like a potato pillars. <laughs> and some nasty seam lines on the hands so we will remove it too just scrub it away it will go nicely sometimes uh, inject pin marks are uh, very strong so be careful With such parts uh, like a head or hands, you have to be uh, very careful and remove seam lines so as not to damage the parts. So carefully with the uh, sharp scalpel, scrape away the, some imperfections. Plastic particles and dust formed during the scraping can be removed very quickly with glue. Uh, I used cement glue from Tamiya. The glue will melt the plastic and leave a smooth surface without damaging the part. Uh, resin figures have a huge advantage over the plastic figures because sometimes they are ready to paint it out of the box and we don't have to bother with uh, all the treatment as it is in the case of uh, plastic figures. So that's why I prefer to use the resin figures. And it's not because I'm lazy, okay, maybe sometimes, but uh, because I prefer to save time for a new projects and have a figurine with the great details. But that is only my opinion.
When the parts are cleaned, we can start gluing them together. For the gluing, I use the MO cement glue. The matching of the parts in this figure is at a good level. I used tweezer for the small parts. Quick check and so far so good. The hands of this figure fit well. Okay, when I have a figure glued together, we will now remove the imperfection, which means filling gaps and holes. For this task, I want to show you a few tools or tricks. Uh, okay, this is the Tamiya two-part two epoxy putty, standard Tamiya putty, the cyanacrylate glue, cyanacrylate, something like this, and the magic sculpt. Uh, the sculpting puppy, which I think is the best for this job. And some wax from the green stuff. I would also like to show you this trumpeter tool, it's a, a scraping tool. This tool is designed to deepen a line in plastic. So if you have a figure that has a flat details and lines, you can draw the line contours again to deepen them. And as we mentioned before, Tamiya glue will smooth everything out. That's why we sometimes say uh, that Tamiya glue welds plastic. You get it? The welder art welds. Okay, uh, enough of this. Let's back to the project. So the first option is to use uh, cyanacrylate glue to fill the gaps in in figure. I use the toothpick and apply the glue on the line. 
a few moments later. And when it's dry, I simply sand it with the sponge. The next option will be to use a patty, Tamiya patty, well known to all modelers in the world. To make patty more thin, I add a acetone and mix it together. I carefully put a small amount of the mixture on the figure. A few moments later. I used the sandpaper to smooth the surface. This primer, Mr. Surfacer 500, will have a similar effect to the Tamiya Patty. So consider which one would you like to use. This two component patty by Tamiya is very similar to Magic Scalp Patty. The consistency is like a plasticine. You just mix the two parts together and put on the model. After a few hours you have a rock hard surface. Now it's time for the big boy, the Magic Scalp. This is a very well known uh, to all of the sculptors two-part resin party. I use it a lot and it has never let me down. I mainly use it to create uh, some storage for the tanks, uh, use it for the figures, dioramas and other stuff. We mix two equal parts together to obtain a uniform consistency. I will be using a few tools for the applying and smoothing. The silicone brushes, some dentist tool, and the toothpick. Due to the fact that uh, drying time is quite long, I can easily work on the surface. With a toothpick, I try to push our plasticine into the holes and uh, some imperfections. For smoothing the surface, we can use a water, wax, or uh, sometimes saliva, but uh, I'm not recommended the last thing because you can uh, simply and accidentally swallow some resin if you are not uh, carefully. So, unless you are already advanced brush liquor. <laughs> And this method will save your uh, time a lot because you, you don't need to sand it down uh, after the drying just try to smooth the surface well
Okay, when we fill in the dead gaps and holes and all the imperfections, we can deal with uh, mount a figure on some small base. I be using a small drill and the Proxon Micromod 50. I drew a small hole in the base of the figure's leg with the small size drill. We have to reduce the revolution in the drill so as not to melt the plastic. And I widened the hole manually with a drill with a bigger size of drill. Thanks to this procedure, we, the figurine will stand on the stand and we will also be able to easily mount it on the diorama. We will use a paper clip to mount the figurine. Straighten the clip and cut off the piece you need. For this task, uh, use the old tweezers, because the hard metal of the clip will damage the tweezers. Again, we can use uh, the cyanacrylate glue to attach the pin inside the figure's leg. And that's it. Uh, for the stand, I will use the styrofoam. And this is how the figure looks, ready for the further work. Okay, my friends. So if you like this movie, give me the thumbs up, subscribe and leave the comment. And uh, in the next episode, we will start preparing for painting. Have a nice day. Goodbye.